This is the first attempt to make some of my TikToks into a more long form video and post it on YouTube. So let me know what you think. Here it is. It's a collection of TikToks about climate change. I think there are probably other TikToks about climate change later. These are the ones that I've collected so far. In all the 20,000 or so comments that have been made in reply to my videos, only three have referred to the elephant in the room, climate change. One of them was quite blunt. It said simply, are you not ashamed to have done nothing about climate change? It would be easy to be offended, but it's fair comment, it needs discussing. I also think climate change and worry about the future is troubling young people a lot. The problem, of course, is what can we do? Are you still burning oil to heat your home? What are the alternatives? Are you checking food labels for palm oil to try and prevent the rainforests being cut down? This problem is bigger than all of us. This is a really good question. When I was a child in the 1950s, there was a war going on in Korea. Second World War had ended, but there was still war in the world going on. The Soviet Union was entrenching itself behind the Iron Curtain and beginning to look very dangerous. When I was at college in the 1960s, the Cold War was at its height. Russian nuclear missiles were pointed at us and America, and if they were spotted, we'd have four minutes before theirs and ours obliterated civilization. And so it goes on. All of these things might have happened, but they didn't. But now there's a threat that is going to happen. It is going to wipe out civilization unless we can fix it urgently and time is running out. Climate change. Simple as that. Very few people in the comments denied that climate change was a real problem. I wonder if they're right and the rest of us are all being deceived. I don't think they're right. I think it's a real problem. What do you think? OK, this is the third time I've mentioned climate change. Now, don't switch off. There are about 20,000 comments across all of my videos, and only 600 of them mention climate change. I asked if you thought climate change was real. I was amazed at the number of people who are very relaxed about it. I would even go so far as to say not bothered. The evidence seems clear now. If governments don't act, and I mean globally, then our civilizations are very likely to collapse within our lifetimes. It is as serious as that. We're facing an emergency right now. But it's not too late. It can be solved. What you need to do is get the facts. Here's a recommendation. Adia Depedan, the Paralympic athlete, has a series on BBC right now. The first episode aired tonight. It's on BBC iPlayer. Don't listen to me. Watch it. Get the facts. If you live in Britain, did you watch Adia Depedan's climate change programme on the BBC tonight? If not, I'm hoping you've recorded it. He's in Bangladesh this week, and it is absolutely fascinating. Anyone who says climate change isn't happening is mad. Anyone who thinks they don't need to bother because it's not going to happen in their lifetime is equally mad. That's not to say it's hopeless. There is time for us to fix this. But we really are running out of time. And the problem is we are sleepwalking. If you didn't see the programme or record it, go to iPlayer, and even then you'll see how much we're sleepwalking. Look, this is the front page of iPlayer. Climate change is the biggest thing that's happening in the world, and there is not one item about it. You have to go to search. Just type Addy. Looks like aid. And there it is. Tap or click, and there are the two programmes. I absolutely urge you to watch them. Do you subscribe to Netflix? If so, have you seen Seaspiracy? I think that's how you say it. It's actually seas and piracy, but made into one word. It's not comfortable viewing, and I'm not sure I would recommend you to watch it. It connects with climate change in that it's another example of what the human race is doing to damage the planet. It's about the enormous amount of plastic getting into the sea. It's about the overfishing and killing of sharks and whales. Quite depressing, but it's the sort of thing that everyone ought to watch. That's how you spell it. I'll just play you the first bit of the trailer. My name is Ali. I've been fascinated with the ocean for as long as I can remember. I've watched the first part of it, and I think you should know about it. By the way, planet Earth is in no trouble at all. It'll carry on going round the sun forever. It's us that's in trouble. I made a video about climate change. It's all very depressing, isn't it? And this comment is typical. I'm surprised at how many people still think it isn't a problem, but really most of us have got the message now. But this is the worry. You see all these pictures, you hear all these things, and you just get depressed. Well, don't be. Technology is changing things faster than we think. Basically, technologies are going to help us beat this thing faster than the governments who are still shilly-shallying and planning to do something by 2050. It'll happen sooner than that. So don't get depressed, but don't ignore it either. We need to all be on board. We need to be aware of the climate change problem and we need to be rallying our friends, our governments, everyone to get this thing moving.
Well, that was the first long form video made from TikToks. Let me know about the format and whether it works.